It's one of them days when, when I want to be all alone. It's one of those days when I got to be all alone. alone. It's one of those days. Don't take it personal. I just want to be all alone. And think, think I treat you wrong. Dun, 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 dun. I need some time out to spend with you. Hold up. You gonna go spend some time out with who? With the with the vulnerable narcissist. You got a balls and all. You gonna go? You gonna actually go out and spend some time with a a vulnerable narcissist? Yes, we're gonna be talking about the vulnerable narcissist. Oh my God! We're gonna give a special shout out to number forty four because one thing about it, he said we ain't gonna read between the lines on this one. We shooting for the bottom line, so you tell me about the bottom line on the vulnerable narcissist. The bottom line on the vulnerable narcissist is they take things personal. Even if it's little, you can't say nothing to them, and they get they all up in their feelings like Drake. God, yeah. what else you got on them? The, another thing on the vulnerable, vulnerable narcissist is they avoid taking risks, scared to fail, or feel they will be criticized. What? Don't they realize that if they go ahead and take that risk, it was worth it? Because if they fail, that might be the part where they might be successful the next time. So, what you got in that file cabinet going on next? The the vulnerable narcissist is easily upset and distressed. Easily upset and distressed? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to go have a Whitney Houston moment. I'm so emotional, baby. Shout out to Whitney. May she rest in peace. That's my girl. Well, I get upset too. And I get totally out of control. And I need what? The vulnerable narcissist needs to be reassured to bolster their self-esteem. I, I need reassurance, but ain't nothing wrong with my self-esteem. I'm pretty cool. I mean, people just get upset. So wait a minute. Let me get this straight. I thought that narcissists, I think that's the grandiose one, all right? Mm -hmm. Not the communal, not the somatic. Ooh, not the malignant, not the psychopath. Oh, it's a bunch of them, not the Machiavellian. Oh, this narcissist is here? Yep. I guess it's a very distinct narcissist, this vulnerable narcissist, because my understanding is one is all over the place and he needs the hype. And this one needs to be reassured. Yes. Ooh. Maybe they need a treatment program. Can you tell me something else about that? What, what, what you do? Be peeping in people's windows or something? How do you get all this information in your head? Mm. The next thing the vulnerable narcissist of the characteristics is discount acts feelings of inadequacy in the vulnerable narcissist. So reassuring them makes them, I guess, compensate for them being feeling down low. Mm-hmm. So every time we see a vulnerable narcissist, we I can't be <laughs> that sound like Shirley, don't it? Mm -hmm. I remember telling Shirley fifteen times, you look okay in that dress, you look okay, you just ain't got the leg. Maybe that was the part that I missed up on. I shouldn't have talked about her little legs and stuff. Because uh, I did criticize her. The dress was cute. But you have to keep telling Shirley that over and over and over again. I'm gonna stop that. I'll just make sure that I don't say that's gonna be hard to do. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Ain't nobody told you to be talking about your <laughs> Anyway, okay, since I did tell Shirley that, and you know what Shirley did after that? She she stopped coming outside to play. What happened? Social withdrawal and isolation from people and events. That's another characteristic of, of, of the narcissist, the vulnerable narcissist. So what happened when I criticized Shirley and maybe in her mind thinking that if I come outside and play, I'm going to get talked about, well, Shirley, I don't care if you stay inside. People going to be talking about you no matter what happens, okay? She needs, Shirley needs to listen to that song, I want to go outside in the rain. It may sound crazy. It is by the dramatics too. It did sound crazy, but you know what? That was the right song for that. <laughs> <laughs> And Shirley, you might as well come on outside because we are, we on YouTube talking about you. So there you go. Now, 
Oh, I like this one. Last but not least, the vulnerable some narciss narcissist does what? Play the victim, also feel threatened, un unfairly or misunderstood. I'm misunderstood. They misunderstand you. Yeah, they do, but I don't play the victim. Mm -hmm. I take responsibility. I look at research all the time. You go head on, Captain Brainiac. I ain't mad at you. Well, who do you think is a vulnerable narcissist? And that, well, let's say we're not doctors, and basically we're just making an assumption. We just kind of eyeballing it through our lens. But you know what? Hey, y'all know I wear glasses, so I might not be seeing clear. So uh, we're gonna go and tap this out. You name me one that you assume is a vulnerable narcissist. Number one is Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's wife, hopefully ex-wife. How did Jada jump up with her and be a a vulnerable narcissist? Last time I checked out, she was a covert narcissist. Then she was a malignant narcissist. I'm making an assumption. She might be a psychopath. But anyway... She got a whole lot of narcissism in her. She need an exorcist. That's what Jada need, okay? Just an assumption. And go on. Who else do you think? Who Number else? two n narcissist is Jim Ursay, owner of the Indianapolis Colts football team. He got arrested for drunkenness and public misconduct. And you know what he said? Law enforcement arrested me because I was a rich white man. Shut up. He actually said that? Oh, yeah. He said that. Oh, my God. So, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Jimmy got arrested, and he's rich. So, Jimmy don't feel like he got to go to jail? Yeah, Jimmy don't feel like he don't have to go to jail. He feel like the law's for little people. The law's for little people? Yep. Hold up. That's his actions. Jimmy, I'm so glad that you're not this beautiful, beautiful chocolate color. Because you be in for a rude awakening. Yes, you would be, Jimmy. But in the meantime... And Jimmy has no soul. This Jimmy has no soul either. Jimmy, he ain't got no soul. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? They made a law, didn't they? Didn't they make a law? Affluenza. Yeah. What? Tell me about that law. That law is actually, I'm too rich to go to jail. It's a get-out-of-jail-free card. Oh, so his privileges are running out, huh? Yeah, his privileges are running out. Oh, okay. See, Jimmy, not, we got your card. We, we we know what you're doing. You rich, and you're gonna play that play that victim card out, ain't it? Yep. I know the lead attorney would support a law like this. The lead attorney was probably the one that uh, devised the law, cause you know what he says all the time. Get in there. This is the perfect law for him. If I can get away with it, I will still, still, still. 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 You go, lead attorney. Shout out to our mentor. You know, he upside down, but we love him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who else we allegedly think is a vulnerable narcissist? Lead attorney's favorite girlfriend and dream girl, dream wife, Erica Mena. Erica Mena? Yeah. That's the gift that keeps giving. She ain't going away yet. That's a nightmare on M Street. <laughs> Whatever you do, lead. Don't get her pregnant, okay? Oh, I don't care if you had to go to Unero or Tire. And, you know, if you do, remember what we said about that quickie? Hey, you know the deal. You know the drill. We had a quickie the other night. Not being you, but, you know, class. Anyway, we're back on it. And the next one is who? The next one is P. Diddy. P. Diddy? Are you saying, did he say he was a victim? Yeah, he said he was a victim because... Because all these lawsuits, they're coming after him for my money. That's what P. Diddy said. They should have been after him a long time ago. I, I can't understand how P. Diddy can let that. Ooh, don't don't tell that to Mace. Don't, ooh. Don't no. tell that to P. Ask Biggie and Tupac. Oh, wait, they're dead. You can't ask them. Oh, my God. And oh, Let's ask 50 Cent. Yeah. 50 don't seem like he have no problem. And Mace don't either, really. Or ask 112, too. Oh. At least they all alive. My God. Mm -hmm. My Diddy. God. Because those that are close to Diddy end up dead or worse. We assume. We assume. Well, I don't know. Because, see, and the behavior looks a pretty little, you know, consistent. But we're going to roll on from P. Diddy because that, that, we'll be on him all day. 
And next we have who? We have the New Jersey Senator Bob Robert Menendez, Democrat, gold bars from New Jersey. Corruption charges. And he spied for Egypt. He's a foreign agent for Egypt, unregistered foreign agent. You sound like an American agent for the United States. Godly, where you get all this information from? What you do, get up in the morning and just say, I'm going to skip Bob and Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I do. And he's one of my least favorite Democrats, too. Uh, he was, he, and, and the worst part is, he's the head of the Foreign Relations Committee in the United States Senate. See what happens when you get Pacific. Yeah, you get a whole lot of information here. Yes, you do. That's why we had to tone down the Pacific. That's right. But anyway, <laughs> I really enjoyed this, didn't you? Yeah, I did too. As long as you get that politics out. <laughs> yeah, I do because there are a lot of nar there are a lot of narcissists in politics in every in Hollywood. Uh, uh even in Hollywood. Yeah. Oh now, my God. In business everywhere. Oh. You gotta mention Amber Heard. And oh, and Amber Heard too. What he did to Johnny Depp. Yes, and we gotta mention before we go. Roseanne we we got Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr. What she said about the addiction to drugs. Most drugs made me a racist. And the pharmaceutical company said we had a lot of symptoms, but it don't make you racist. Watch out! I got a live drone here. He'll be flying over your bedroom, even into your window. I better not say that because they might think. Mm-mm. Well, they probably think that it's the one from Africa, not you. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, say Duke Jackson. Let's blame it on Ose. Let's blame it on Ose. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Yeah. It's Ose Duke. <laughs> it's Ose Duke. <laughs> well, on that note, we're going to let you have the last word going out. And what? My last word is, if you're feeling lonely... Um, just look to different programs to to help you in your community. And don't be a vulnerable narcissist. And read, read, read. All right. And on that note, we're going to close out. But we got to beat it over there to my channel at 911, Linda Ballard at 911 here. Because we're going to jump down the communal narcissist throat. So we're going to wrap it up, wrap it around. And I will see you guys over there.